guys, it's Sam and I am back for my cruise vacation. I hope you noticed my tan. I had such a great time. I'm working on editing the vlog footage and my outfits of the night. Now there's not a lot from either, but I'm gonna put up what I filmed and hopefully um, that'll be up in a couple of weeks. Now, or, or less than that, I don't know why I said a couple of weeks. I'm just, I just got back a couple of days ago and I'm just still trying to decompress. You know, they say you need a vacation from your vacation. That's the mo that's where I am at right now. I did wash all my clothes and I'm trying to put my to toiletries away. And before I put my makeup back into their right uh, compartments or containers, I wanted to share with you what I ended up using and what I didn't. So I thought that would be kind of fun to just look back and see how much stuff I brought that I didn't use. Um, I, but I think I did pretty well. So let's get started. The first one, that, the first thing I'm going to pull out is the e.l.f blush palette and I ended up using this almost every day if not every day for during the day I did try to stick with the matte colors and then at night I would use this one but also at night I would use the mattes as well just depending on uh, what I was feeling and what I was wearing and I would also use this for uh, my crease color I, I would put like a light matte brown and then I would go over it with one of these colors and I love the way that that looks and it also incorporates um, the blush color with your eye color so it kind of all meshes together uh, so, so for blush I used the elf um, sorry the up and up uh, brush that that's from Target and I love this brush you could use it also for contouring it works pretty well but I just strictly use this for blush next is a product that I didn't use or two products the false lashes I wanted to use these at night but by the time that I got around to getting ready and it just time just slipped away from me and I didn't have time to put lashes on although some people probably would say that this shouldn't take any time but for me it always seems to take forever and sometimes it falls off and so I didn't end up using these uh, next is the face powder I did use this every day sometimes twice a day um, and I even hit pan while I was on the trip, so that was kind of fun. Uh, this is this is a really great powder. It gives you coverage, and um, it looks really nice too. Uh, to set that, I would sometimes use this brush. This is the Kat Von D, the new product that I got before I left uh, from an influence there. This brush is amazing. It's so soft, so I would use it to just set the powder. Um, but if I wanted a little bit more coverage, I would use the Makeup Forever Kabuki. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I use this every day as well and just I just love this. It makes my face feel really refreshed. It has aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. Uh, it just makes the face feel really, really cool and sometimes those days were really hot so it was nice to have this. And it also sets my makeup, so that was really nice to have and I like that. I use this every day, uh, mostly at night. This is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, but use if you could, you could use it as a primer as well, and it really makes your makeup look very nice and lasts for a long time. This is the Becca Highlighter in Opal, and I use this on uh, a few formal nights. Definitely on the for, definitely on the formal nights, but I also use it for a couple times the other just cruise casual nights this I used the elf uh, this is the corrective yellow HD powder and I did use this to bake under my eyes a few nights and that worked very nicely uh, this is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation I use this every day um, I used it during the day and then for at night I mixed a little bit of this with the HD and I loved how my makeup looked in pictures, so I thought this was a good way to go. And even though I think this has SPF, I used a little, little of this at night that it didn't really look like it, and it didn't flash white in pictures. I did use the Kat Von D concealer. This is the Locket concealer in L7 Warm, and it's a little bit too light now, but I felt like with the powder on top that it looked. It didn't look too light, so I did like this, and that lasts a long time. So I was very happy that I decided to put it in last minute, and plus I wanted to test it out as well. Let me just go through all the brushes. So I did end up using, oops, okay, I'll get that later. This is a highlighter brush. Love this. It's just so soft and perfect for placing highlight on uh, the face. 
this is the elf blending brush but I use it as contour it's perfect for that and also it's just easier to bring down the neck this is that all multi-purpose serving brush and I used it for foundation on days that I didn't want to use the beauty blender which I use this uh, most days if I didn't use this brush and I use it for nighttime as well uh, for the small brushes I think I have almost all of them I ended up not I used everything except for these two so I used all these brushes but I didn't use these things so um, I guess I just need I just need maybe one blending brush or two uh, not three I ended up um, what is it? let's see I did, sorry about that, I wasn't sure where I was going. Uh, this is a NYX pore filler, and I did use this every night, just to fill in this area here, because I have pretty big pores, I feel like, just right here. Uh, I use the NYX HD uh, primer, or eyeshadow base, every day. This is the Bomb Shady Lady Volume 1 palette, and I used... Um, I used the blue and these browns here, and I did use this pink. Um, this is one item that I'm not, I did use it, but I'm not sure if I would bring it again next time just because I kept my eye looks really simple. I used the Kat Von D every day, every day. This is a really great palette to bring because you could just create so many looks with it. And in a pinch, you could kind of use this one as powder if you needed to, uh, but just a great palette I'm so glad I brought this with me I also use this every day this is the shade and light the contour and highlight palette I use mostly these two dark ones and I did use sometimes powders uh, but yeah this was also I really like to bring I really like having that with me I use the highlight the ambient our ambient I don't know why this name always escape, escapes me Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Not that you guys don't know what this is, but I did use this a lot of the days as well. Uh, let's see. I used this a couple times, but you know what? I think it's at that point where it's starting to smell a little bit funny, so I'm most likely going to toss it. I'm going to see how I feel about it using it at home. Not that it would make a difference, but you know. Uh, and I use this this one I use a couple of times. This one I only use once, so I'm not sure if I need to bring a base with me uh, on the next trip. But I mean, yeah, just because I don't use it on this this pasture doesn't mean I won't use it in the future. So um, I you did end up using it, just not as much as I wanted to. And I did use the liners. I actually I don't think I used the black one, but I did use the blue and the brown. So um, I'm glad I brought those. And I definitely want. I definitely like knowing that I have a black eyeliner. The only reason I don't think I used it was because I had this one, and this is amazing. This thing does not come off unless you're using some type of oil or soap to remove it. This is amazing. So this is a Milani Infinite Liquid Eyeliner, and I raved about that for a very long time and I stopped using it for a while because I had so many other eyeliners but that thing does not does not take, come off and some, it is a little bit shiny so what I would recommend is putting a little bit of black powder to mat it down a little bit I use both of these mascaras what the, the blue is the supersizer and the orange is the lash blast which the last blast is still my favorite mascara, I have to say. Uh, I did use the NYX... Uh, what's it called? No, that's the French. Tinted Brown Mascara. Uh, but I think it's a little too... I want to say on the red side, I need to find something a little bit on the cooler side. I used, up, uh, I used the two nail polishes. This one I didn't need to bring. I just brought it just in case, like the first couple of days, my, because this is what I painted my toenails the first couple of days, the first half of the trip. Um, I didn't really need to bring this because it didn't trip that much. And then I did paint my nails, this toenails, the second half of the trip. And for lips, I used all the colors. So this is the Burgundy Blush by uh, Maybelline and the Vibrant Violets. 
I use Max Ruby Woo with the liner. Oh, I did. I used this once. This is the Clarence uh, Instant Light Perfecting Touch for under eyes. And I did use these two Maybelline Color Blur uh, Cream Lip Pencils. Uh, and also, which I don't have to show you, the NYX. What are these things called? The NYX Liquid Suede. The ones that look like this. I the one that, that in Soft Spoken. That's like my favorite. I use that a lot of days as well. And then these are the tattoos. And I only used it once. And I used chose the day that I went in the water to use them. I don't know what I was thinking, but these are pretty cool and I would definitely use these again. So that is what I ended up using and not using. I use pretty much everything. Um, several things I use more than once. A couple of things I use once or twice and then there's some things I didn't use at all. But all in all, I am pretty happy with the choices in makeup that I brought with me and I would leave some things behind. Um, I kind of wish things were a little bit more compact just because they are pretty big to bring. Specifically just these two but I mean I guess you can't make them any smaller and I love the size of these eyeshadows. It's just that these palettes are just a little bit bulky even though they are thin. It's just they're kind of large. So that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will be putting up those vlogs hopefully soon and the outfits of the day i'm not sure about the vlog just because they didn't get a lot of footage but i'm gonna see what i have and then we'll go from there so i hope you guys are all doing well and i'll talk to you soon bye